All right. Thank you, Edwin, for your data. Without it, we would not be here. Um, so I'm Otto Pentekainen. I'm the CEO and uh, co-founder of DoublePoint. We're a gesture recognition uh, company uh, utilizing uh, existing sensors on wearables to do gesture detection. I'm going to be talking about a couple of lessons we've uh, learned uh, along the way in the past year uh, about uh, what it's like to be a deep tech company operating uh, in this space. Uh, first of all, I want to tell a little bit about our technology. So, in case you didn't notice, I'm going to be using my hands to change the slides. And you can see that uh, we, uh, uh, the technology that we use to detect uh, these gestures, they are sensors that can be found in uh, smartwatches today. So we utilize the inertial measurement unit and the PPG sensors that are already found on most existing smartwatches. Um, and basically, uh, the technology enables you to do things like pinch your fingers together and other gestures that are relevant uh, for the upcoming industries. Um, so I want to talk about a little bit about the trend that we're seeing. So today, devices are changing in front of our eyes. We're seeing augmented reality being picked up. We're seeing wearables being created. And this technology, uh, what we're building, is really to serve this purpose. And thankfully for us, there's a lot of activity in the field today. So on the left, you can see Meta's uh, EMG wristband that was showcased on stage on the MetaConnect uh, keynote uh, last month. And then on the right, you can see Apple's products, which utilize uh, uh, gesture recognition to build new interfaces. Um, we went on stage last year uh, to talk about our new product, uh, something that uh, we call the Double Point Evaluation Kit. And that's uh, what it looks like. And I want to share a little bit about what's happened since then and what kind of uh, lessons we've learned as a company. So I'm going to be going through three lessons um, that DoublePoint has uh, learned in the past 12 months. So after the launch, uh, we realized that uh, it's actually not that exciting for everyday people to see evaluation hardware. So we ended up um, creating something uh, that can be used on existing watches, uh, such as uh, a Samsung watch. So here you can see an uh, uh, interface in augmented reality fully controlled by the smartwatch. There's no computer vision being used, no external controllers. It's just a watch. And we decided uh, last, uh, early this year to give that to consumers. And it's called Wow Mouse. And we were able to achieve a couple of great things uh, with our Wow Mouse technology. We launched at CES uh, with over 135,000 attendees. It's a huge conference in Vegas. If you've got a chance, do go attend it. We were the second most covered startup uh, in the whole event, actually. Uh, and we got a huge amount of press. And uh, you know, we got uh, hundreds of leads and thousands of uh, users on our technology. And basically, the headlines, you know, we were seeing pick up on Verge, uh, pick up on Android Authority, and a lot of different, uh, you know, we can just click them through. And, you know, this was really only uh, possible uh, because we created something that had a nice user interface, even though the technology we've been working on for a long time. And here's one of the things that we've learned, is that do hardware only if you need to. <laughs> Uh, because people, they're not necessarily interested in the hardware, but they're actually interested in the use case, in the experience that you can provide. So that's our first lesson to anyone interested in deep tech. Do hardware only if you really need to. Now, going forward from there, we got a lot of people uh, asking about different use cases. So accessibility is one of them enabling people with amputations uh, to use smartwatches. If you haven't noticed, smartwatches are very much a, a two-handed interface. You can't control your smartwatch unless you have two hands. Um, so we were able to uh, build uh, experiences for uh, people with amputations, for example. We were able to build experiences for people building cars. And we were also able to build experiences for people uh, controlling robots. And what we saw from this is that there's a lot of excitement for this type of technology, but there's also a lot of use cases. So a second lesson that we learned is that evaluation needs to be super easy. 
So for, for any deep tech company out there, it's incredibly important that you make it extremely easy for your potential customers to evaluate sort of your solution. And with that, we were able to get these, uh, uh, the business that we're seeing today. Now going on from there, um, you know, we've been talking about uh, our technology, so we use the IMU uh, to detect vibrations on the hand. We use optical sensors to detect the tendon movement uh, from the wrist. And some of the gestures we can do is tap or multi-tap, what I'm using to control the uh, presentation here. And we can also do pinch and hold, um, which is uh, our third supported gesture. And since, uh, since early this year, we've been also working some, uh, on some new gestures. So here you can see up, down, left, right. It's essentially making a touch screen out of your index finger, which means you can have a D-pad controller just on your side. And it's extremely useful for everyday, uh, everyday uh, experiences, especially for a comfortable AR interaction. Um, the third lesson and the hope that we have is that at some point, the world will catch up. So what we saw as a early stage deep tech company is that some of the time companies just can't relate to you. They don't see what you're seeing. So by enabling these technologies for companies in all sorts of industries, making a name for yourself and just keep on pushing and, and talking about it, at some point the world will catch up uh, to your technology. Um, our vision is that we can be the gesture recognition platform for wearables. So we want to be a company that's not dependent on any particular vendor to get our technology out there, but we want to enable different, uh, different uh, platforms, fitness trackers, smartwatches, dedicated wristbands, and maybe someday even smart rings to do gesture recognition. And you can start doing what I'm doing here on stage to control my presentation with maybe your smart home lights, with your automotive, with your TV, and eventually maybe even your augmented reality headset. And our mission is to make that as easy as possible, and that's why we're building gesture recognition technology here in Helsinki, Finland. So that's us. If you're interested in our technology and would like to connect, uh, this is my LinkedIn. I know I'm early, so you have two minutes now to uh, scan my code, and uh, hopefully you can uh, get your phone out and, and let us know if you're interested in this and you want to try it out for yourself. Thanks for having me.